The Day of Remembrance for All Victims of Chemical Warfare is an annual event held November 30 as a tribute to the victims of chemical warfare, as well as to reaffirm the commitment of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW, to the elimination of the threat of chemical weapons, thereby promoting the goals of peace, security, and multilateralism. It is officially recognized by the United Nations UN and has been celebrated since 2005. On the 2013 Observance Day, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon gave a speech where he stated, On this Remembrance Day, I urge the international community to intensify efforts to rid the world of chemical weapons, along with all other weapons of mass destruction. Let us work together to bring all states under the convention and promote its full implementation. This is how we can best honor past victims and liberate future generations from the threat of chemical weapons. The observance was previously held on April 29, but it was moved in 2015 and the original day is now International Day for the Foundation of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW Day. Topic: History On November 11, 2005, during the last day of the United Nations' 10th session of the Conference of the State Parties, the members of the UN officially recognized the Day of Remembrance for all victims of chemical warfare, following a suggestion by Rogelio Furter, Director General of the Secretariat. In addition, Furter's proposal to erect a monument at The Hague commemorating all victims of chemical warfare was approved. April 29 was chosen as the date for the event's celebration because the Chemical Weapons Convention entered into force on that day in 1997. Although the majority of the world has either given up or destroyed their stockpiles of chemical weapons as of 2013, several nations have yet to do so. Five of these, Angola, Burma, Egypt, Israel, and North Korea, have not ratified the convention and are suspected to possess chemical weapons. Syria is also known to possess a sizable stockpile and Secretary General Ban Ki-moon noted this in his 2013 speech, condemning the nation for its alleged exploitation of chemical weapons in its ongoing civil war. On September 14, 2013 the United States and Russia announced in Geneva that they reached a deal whereby Syria would ratify the treaty and give up its chemical weapons. The Syrian government has been cooperating and as of November 2013, all but one of Syria's 23 publicly declared chemical weapon sites have been visited by international inspectors that are dismantling the Syrian chemical weapons program. <laughs> Notes <laughs>